Attorney General Dana Nessel's investigation into the Ottawa County Board of Commissioners has ended in no lawsuits. Nessel says the board did not violate the Open Meetings Act, but she blasted the board for its actions since taking over. News 8's Byron Tollefson joins us now with more on how the Attorney General wants to change the law. Byron? Brian and Sue, the Attorney General's announcement came right in the middle of the latest board meeting, which continued to bring out strong reaction from the community. Ottawa County remains fiercely divided over its new Board of Commissioners. It's another deceptive, untrustworthy action on the part of some of you who appear to want to treat public service as a game of partisan gotcha. Because of your courageous and decisive moves, I, if I didn't already live in Ottawa County, I would want to move here, where freedom brings for all. With another long round of public comment today. I personally don't agree with their philosophy, and I think they're going the wrong way. And so I'm going to show up at every meeting and, and speak my mind. And we are um, upset with the, the direction that the country is going, and we don't want our Ottawa County to be a part of that. As the meeting dragged on, Attorney General Dana Nessel announced she won't take action against the board's moves when it took over. On January 3rd, the board changed the agenda to oust the county administrator and public health officer and close the diversity, equity, and inclusion department. I think we can all agree that there were some pretty egregious actions that they took that certainly violate the spirit of government transparency. Nestle says the board violated the spirit of the Open Meetings Act by gathering before January 3rd to discuss the changes, but they didn't break the law because the commissioners met before they were sworn in, so that can't be considered in a legal closed session. That's, that's why we are saying that we cannot take action because they were not public officials at this point. They had not taken their oaths of office. That's why Nessel is proposing changing the Open Meetings Act. She wants to require boards to post changes to public meeting agendas at least 48 hours in advance. The definition of the term public official would also be changed to include those who have been elected but not yet sworn in. OMA needs to be strengthened. There's no question about it. Uh, it needs more teeth and it needs more specificity uh, so that the law can be properly enforced and so that you know the people of the state know that their government officials are acting with appropriate transparency. Nestle says her office got more letters and emails from citizens about the actions of the board than for any other single public body. In the newsroom, Byron Tollefson, News 8.